So here we have the Oppo Reno 8T 5G and this is the phone. So if you've already bought this one, obviously if you're watching this video, I've already bought this one. So how's the camera module? Did you like this camera module or not? Let me know in the comment section down below. So this is the Oppo Reno 8T 5G. Plenty of things going for it, especially in terms of camera department, that 40X microscopic lens and as well as the 108 megapixel camera, which has a 1.7 aperture. So that's what I'm really excited about. So in this video, let's go ahead and first boot this one so if you have bought a new phone you don't know how to set up this for the first time so let's look at it then so let me just go ahead and turn the power on so here's the power button obviously and you have very clean and neat look as far as uh, this is concerned so this is the oppo branding here powered by android so this is what you see with the first screen once you turn on the phone just wait for a bit and you see the animation here so here you have the color os it says hello and if you closely observe there is a little cool thing going on here with various languages how you say hello they have mentioned here so this is the first screen that you see let me adjust the brightness quick there you go now just tap on this purple icon here for the next step you have to choose the language so whatever language you want you can choose there are plenty of options here there is Hindi, Marathi, Kannada, Tamil, Telugu, plenty of languages. So for the sake of video, I'll just go ahead and select the English one. So you can select your language, then tap on next here. So once we have selected the language, you have to select the region, obviously. So where you belong. So just choose your country here. I belong to India and then tap on continue. So here's the legal information. OK, there are things that you can do here. Firstly, you have to agree the user agreement and user privacy, security and protection. So these are the two things that you have to agree. And these are actually optional. So you don't have to agree on this one and just move on. Tap on next connect to Wi-Fi. So whatever Wi-Fi is available, if you have Wi-Fi, you can connect otherwise you can easily skip this one. But before this one, you can also go ahead and actually insert the sim card into the sim tray so i have the wi-fi connection here i'll just go ahead and connect to the wi-fi and come back so once i have connected to internet just tap on next step so getting your phone ready this may take few minutes you just have to wait patiently so what this tells is if you have a google account gmail account basically you just enter it one in the next step and you can copy apps and data that store in your google account so if you are using your previous phone and you have all the data into that and if you have that gmail id just go ahead and log into this one and you can retrieve all the apps even the backup and all other stuff there so if you don't have anything and you want to set this up fresh brand new just tap on don't copy and it moves to next step so just wait patiently again so once it's done like i said you need to have gmail account if you don't have a gmail account you want to create new just go ahead and tap on create account here so as you can see you have the create account so if you have the gmail account just go ahead and tap on the email and then tap on next one if you don't want to enter any gmail account or if you don't want to sign in and just go to the home screen then you can also tap on skip here right so you have all the options here. So I have the Gmail account. I'll just go ahead and sign in and come back and tap next. So the next step would be getting your account info once you have signed in. So if you don't sign in, you'll just move on to the next step. So you enter to the Google services. A couple of things to note here. So if you want to back up your device, so make sure you have turned this on and then you have the location here. So by default, it will be turned on. So you don't have to turn this thing on, right? So make sure you have turned this off. Whenever you want to enable location, you can easily do that with the notification here. The another important thing is to turn this thing off send usage and diagnostic data you don't have to send your diagnostic as well as usage data to say oppo or android or google services so it also consumes a little bit of battery behind the background so you don't want this to turn on and you have the install updates and apps that's it so just tap on accept once you are done with this so there are three unlock methods here which is fingerprint face as well as password so which one you want to do you can set it up if you don't want to set up this now you can just go ahead and tap on screen so this is the unlock method i'll just go ahead and turn on the fingerprint here so tap on next you have to set up either set up a numeric pattern or alpha numeric if you want to set up fingerprint so we will just go ahead and use the pattern here so we have to wait for five seconds okay that's a nice warning here so I'll just use the normal pattern so you can use it whatever you want. So place your finger on the sensor. We have the unlock sensor right over here and that's what I am doing. So make sure you're doing with all your thumb sides. You don't have to press it. You can just tap on it slightly. Okay, and once we have done that, just tap on next and you want to continue to next setup or leave and get reminder on leave and get reminder. 
so the google thing will go and opus os will come up here so couple of settings to do here still so little trick has been applied by oppo here so if you just look at this screen here you'll think that this is from google actually and you want to sign in to this one with the google account that you just did but this is not the case this is oppo's user interface so this is oppo's basically account that it is asking to sign up and you don't want to do that if you don't want the oppo services right so you can straight away go ahead and skip on this one or if you want to use the oppo service or say log into oppo account you can just go ahead and continue the password your user otp or continue with the google it is completely your choice so for now i am just skipping this step because i don't want to log into oppo service then you have navigation choice which is neat it's asking in the first screen itself so you have the buttons if you want the buttons to be here and you also have the gestures so it's showing little animation on how gestures work i'll just go ahead and do the traditional thing here as i tap on gesture so you have the full screen access here if i just tap on button you will get the button here that you can access with so let's go with the traditional method and you also have this uh, auto update overnight just tap on done then you have the apps which has been recommended by Oppo. Obviously, they will have some tie-ups with the apps and they are asking you to pre-install this one automatically for you. There are plenty of spamming apps here, I mean, which you don't need, obviously, and just tap on this skip. Here you go, after so much of drama, you have the color OS test tap on get started. So this is where you get everything. This is the first home screen that we are seeing. So this is where you start using your phone. So choose the app market by Oppo, which is great. Okay, you have the screen here, which is 120 Hz refresh rate, and it's a curved display, actually. The case that they have provided actually doesn't uh, make you look that it's a curved display, but it is 3D curved display is what they call. All done and set up. So I have the Google's home screen there, and uh, it's neat and already set up with plenty of apps to go for. So you can use the notification drawer. Let's quickly jump onto this one. So there are plenty of settings that you can tweak in to make this phone very nice and very fast and actually customizable. So make sure to hit that like button and follow for more such tips. So I'll be making features video which will be really helpful for you. So make sure you tune into my channel and don't forget to click on that subscribe for more such videos. So this was just a video on how to get it set up for the first time if you have bought the Oppo Reno 8T. So that's it in this video. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful to you guys if you has hit that like button and don't forget to share this video with your friend and don't forget to click on that subscribe button all right guys i will see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye